Blaze, and friends and family like to call me Blazer. I'm going to show you how to make a gourmet meal that will impress your guests, and all you need are a couple sharp knives, a love of food, and an adventurous spirit. You don't need a fancy kitchen to make a great meal. I mean, look at me. My cabinets are falling off, half my equipment doesn't work, but I still make gourmet meals. I work with what I have. Today's meal is going to be an endive salad, a duck ragu over pepper deli pasta, and chocolate blini. First, we're going to work on the salad. The salad is a showcase of four flavors, salt, sweet, sour, and bitter. I love that combination. The sweet are candied pine nuts, and I'm going to show you how to candy pine nuts right now. Let's go. All you do is put a little sugar in a pan, about three tablespoons, and you melt it over heat. Mine's already caramelized a little bit, but that's okay. You're going to put your pine nuts in. It's about a third of a cup, and you're going to stir it in this molten sugar until it caramelizes. Now the pine nuts are finished, nicely caramelized. I'm going to put them on a piece of wax paper. They're sticky now, but when they cool, they'll be easy to break apart, and we're going to toss them with our salad. While we're waiting for them to cool, we're going to work on the duck. One carrot, one celery stick, and an onion has already been sauteing in this pan. It's nicely caramelized, and now what I'm going to do is add my duck. The duck is already skinned and cut up into pieces. You cannot you leave the skin on the duck or else you're going to have a ton of fat in your final dish. We're going to let this brown about seven minutes aside and we'll come back to it at that point. Let's go back to our pine nuts. The pine nuts are cool now and they're easy to break apart. We're going to top off the salad with the pine nuts because if they get tossed with the salad, the dressing will make the caramel crust soggy. The salad is made up of endive, a bitter green that holds a dressing well. And we're going to toss that with gorgonzola cheese, lemon juice, and of course, olive oil. First, we're going to dress it with the olive oil. Put a little olive oil on it. The cheese. Nice salty cheese to give us our salty flavor. And a squirt of lemon juice. We're going to toss it all together. I'm going to plate it up. And we're going to add our sweet touch to the top of it. And this salad is sure to stimulate all of your taste buds. Now the duck is finished browning and we're going to put in wine and boil that off and simmer it for 25 minutes. After it simmers for 25 minutes, we're going to debone it, dice it, put it back in the pan and let it simmer for a whole hour. That will get it nice and tender. I'm going to put the wine in, shake it a little bit, and I can just leave it. That's a beautiful thing about this dish. The heat does most of the work. It's a little, little hot. Back it off, now we're going to move to our dessert. Whoa, that's what you call a snappy dessert. This is the chocolate bellini topped off with the whipped cream, the preserved cherries, and the candy lemon peel. The candy lemon peel really accents this dessert. It has a bitterness and a sweetness to it, which really complements the chocolate bellini. The preserved cherries are very nice too, and what I always like to do is to drink the preserved liquid after I have the dessert. Salud. It's a great end to a great meal. Let's finish up with the duck. I've already tossed the pepper deli pasta with the duck ragu. I do it right in the pan because it keeps the whole dish warm and it keeps me from having to clean another plate. I'm gonna plate it up right out of the pan. I'm using these metal tongs. I know it's a non-stick surface, but don't tell anybody, I'll be careful. Plate this up. The pepper deli pasta is really wide. And what's nice about that is it holds a lot of the sauce. Now this dish, you don't have to put a lot of sauce on it because a little goes a long way, but it's all held together by this wide pasta. I like to garnish it with celery greens. First of all, it gives it a nice contrast in color and also celery greens are a nice alternative to parsley. And celery is an ingredient in the dish. And there you have it, a centerpiece to your delicious meal, the four flavor salad, your pasta, and the polenta blini. See you next time.